here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it take me past my destiny. You're behind me with the rest. Cause I'm a mess. No more you. Could only get better. I need it more than ever. They don't, 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 don't. We 
are in trouble, but we don't really care. Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow, but it will still be fair. No, they don't pick us up, instead they knock us down, and that's the way it goes until we're in the ground. I don't want to do this anymore. No, I just want to say. Light the blanket and the man It's a real adventure The trail you're looking at I'm glad you came for a while I thought you might be bailing Is that the same yellow shirt You used to wear But a thousand years Seem like almost no time now This guitar right here Do you still remember how I played for you I was crappy but you sang along I could die to keep you near We've got a fire in the tent It's 5.30 
5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left Get in trouble again That star's got nothing on you That one's brand new Still it's got nothing on you Tonight We got a fire in the tent It's 5.30 Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about a couple of my thoughts on the Voltrox 24mm f1.8 So the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, how it uh, shoots on the video So because it's a 24mm uh, wide angle, but uh, when it is on the video, it is pretty good The first thing that I noticed is the, uh, the backlight is very nice and um, on the video, uh, you can do some cinematic uh, video footage just like um, uh, if you want to use this lens to include a little bit more context, uh, you can use this lens. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, it's good on video and especially if you want to do some uh, short uh, footage like for the Instagram story. You can use this lens as well so it includes some context but still retain a little bit uh, of the bokeh especially on the half body you can still uh, retain the bokeh as like this one and uh, i am uh, pretty impressed on the flare uh, because uh, sometimes i like the red flare just like the old fuji lenses that has the red flare that uh, for the composition it depends on your personal preference. Some people doesn't like the red uh, flare, but I like it for the uh, for the framing purposes. Uh, it creates some extra layer for that, just like uh, these couple shots right here. So um, overall, I like the flare and the video shooting as well. Um, I noticed that uh, 
most of the time for the autofocus, the other thing is the autofocus. For the autofocus, most of the time, it attracted the eye. There are some occasion, maybe about 10% of the time uh, uh, in the backlight, especially in the backlight situation, it is harder because of the light me uh, metering and how, how the sunlight on the flare um, that determine the uh, logic behind. But you can, as you can see here in the backlight, uh, like very difficult situation is still able to find the eyes, uh, the eye to focus. So for the focusing system on this, uh, it uh, utilized the Sony IAF uh, pretty good. So um, I think from me, uh, this first shoot about 900 pictures. I think about uh, some sometimes um, the one that uh, were not using IAF, um, about 5% of them are use, not using IAF, but uh, most of the time um, the IAF uh, trigger. Sometimes it's on the face, just like that first one. You can see, just detect the face without detecting the eyes. But those are good uh, because it's a full body. So that's uh, two main thing on this. The other thing I'm talking about is the color. So uh, I used the AWB uh, Auto White Balance this time. And um, overall it's pretty good. Uh, sometimes, uh, most of the time, uh, the AWB is uh, leaning toward the cold tone, but uh, sometimes on the backlight is pretty good. Just like this one is slightly warmer than this one because it's auto white balance. It determines that um, sunlight uh, flare also. So I, I like for this case, I like the sunlight flare for this case as well. Um, it's pretty good for me to just frame the portrait with some interesting uh, overlay on it. Just like the old way that I use the prism to create some different uh, things. So I'm pretty impressed with the flare for the uh, composition purpose. And um, even on backlight situation, um, the sunlight is pretty good also. Um, the other thing, uh, oh, this one is the one that I'm talking about. Sometimes uh, in the strong backlight, um, it cannot detect the eyes, but it's still detecting the um, the surface area of the face. So those are fine. Um, as long as you can focus, um, it can still like uh, create the sharp uh, front focus as well. So uh, that's the third thing. So the color, color overall is pretty good. Auto white balance, uh, the color um, of the uh, pen and the color of the sun is pretty good. Uh, there's no like, uh, like obviously light tinting uh, thing so basically it's warm that I want it uh, if if I need the warm for the golden light the AWB uh, handles uh, nicely uh, for the golden sunlight hour so this is one hour within one hour before the sun was uh, setting so overall the color from this lens is pretty good too so this is the third topic I want to talk about. The other one was the uh, the sharpness of the photos. So let me just uh, give you an idea of the sharpness. Um, so overall it's pretty sharp already. So you can see that it is focused on the eyes in here. So overall the sharpness is pretty good. And um, because this is wide angle lens, the bokeh won't be super big uh, in here. Um, because it's the wide angle, so the mo the major usage is you can use it for the fashion style uh, portrait, like wide angle editorial style. So that's the uh, one thing that um, most of the usage are probably from. And uh, for the for the backlight, uh, for the backlight, it still it was still like focusing uh, nicely on the backlight. You can see that it is uh, still pretty sharp on the eyes. Even with some eyes cover, it's still be able to find the focus and the overview of the portrait is pretty good. So it reminds me the Fujifilm 23mm also, but the the red, uh, the, the red uh, flare from the Voltrox is, uh, reminds me of the Fujifilm uh, lens flare as well. So that's a, uh, that's the thing I like to use this uh, flare to frame the portrait. 
So that's um, that's a couple things that I wanted to talk about. Um, but overall, my impression is pretty good. Uh, for this lens, uh, most usage, uh, you can use it for the fashion style with some background context, just like here, city style. Mm, you can see that you can still see the shape of the car and then some tree behind. You can still see that uh, in these cases, uh, but uh, it still can have a nice like, street style portrait for this lens. So that's uh, my quick uh, thoughts on four items uh, on this lens, uh, Voltrox 24mm f1.8. And uh, I will have more video coming up and stay tuned for more. And thanks so much for subscribing and please uh, click like if you like this video. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye.